been a while since uh, I've been able to give Hawk some attention. Um, schedule's been crazy. He's been in the back pasture. Um, it's grass out there. Sugar content is high, and uh, he is really, really feeling his oats, as it were. And so I'm excited to kind of re-engage with him a little bit. When you look at our devotional this morning, you're going to find some things that are rather exciting. In Genesis 49, 10 and 11, it says, The scepter shall not depart from Judah, nor the lawgiver from between his feet, until Shiloh come, and unto him shall the gathering of the people be, binding his foot unto the vine, and his ascolt unto the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine, and his clothes in the blood of grapes. And so this is amazing. We know that Jesus comes from the tribe of Judah. We know that Judah, the symbol, is the lion. And so this is why you get that Jesus is from the uh, lion of the tribe of Judah. And he's going to come back as a lion. Now, when he comes back, it won't be like his first coming when he came on that donkey. He came in peace the first time, but when he comes back, he's gonna come back on a white stallion. And this is gonna be the time period where judgment and really justice really begins. Now, of course, there's going to be tribulation prior to this, but this will be when it is all settled. Now, I wanna read here a little bit what it says in the devotional. It says, he will come from the east we know that according to the scriptures. Wearing a red robe symbolic of his sacrifice, he will be riding a white war horse, that stallion, of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He will come in judgment to purge his kingdom of all the ungodly. His saints will follow him wearing white robes of righteousness, which he put on them, covering their sins at the cross. Revelation 19, verses 8 and 13. Now we read in Proverbs 18.24, There's a friend that sticketh closer than a brother, and that is Jesus. Jesus is one that uh, is not only a friend, but I want you to understand that according to the word of God, that scepter, that's what a king holds. It's not going to depart out of Judah. And so we're going to see that that lineage that comes, that kingly lineage, is going to follow with Jesus and he ultimately is going to set up a theocracy and he's going to take care of everything. Are you tired of all of the sin that you see in the world? Are you tired of all the corruption in politics? It will all be taken care of. And what's amazing about that is you can be a part of that kingdom today. If you take a look at the scriptures, you're going to see that the scriptures talk about children of God being a part of his kingdom and so part of these devotionals is to get us our hearts and our minds aligned to the things of God now I think it's amazing that here we are in Genesis and we're talking about the kingdom we're gonna be in next quarter starting next month looking at the kingdom of God I want to encourage you to start reading ahead in Matthew it's gonna be exciting so come to Sunday school class read those passages Get ready, because when you really understand what it means to be a child of the king, a lot of this stuff here, it just fades away. And you anticipate those clouds opening up and Jesus return when he comes. But until then, let's prepare. We've got work to do. i got a little bit of work to do here. God bless.